All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for clicking on the video. Street Fighter 2 versus Mortal Kombat. This is a big one, and I'm excited to do this, actually. Now, uh, I know if you've clicked on the video, you're going to say this is going to be a total, totally uh, biased review, as this is uh, primarily a Mortal Kombat channel. And you know what? If I was on the outside looking in, I'd agree. I'd be like, there's no way that Street Fighter is going to be better than Mortal Kombat in Daryl's eyes. But let me tell you something. I'm going to approach this uh, completely unbiased. And, uh, and the truth is, there's, there's a story about uh, Street Fighter 2 in my life. And uh, I'm going to share that with you first. So... Uh, March of 1991 is when Street Fighter 2 came out. That is uh, about 18 months before Mortal Kombat came out, the, the original arcade game of Mortal Kombat. Uh, Street Fighter 2 uh, Champion Edition came out in March of 92, six months before uh, Mortal, came, Mortal Kombat came out as well. So let me tell you about my experience with uh, Street Fighter first. All right. So I was, uh, it was 1991, I was 11 years old, and uh, the convenience store up the street from my place uh, had two arcade games in there, uh, as, far, as far as I can remember. Anybody in Canada, the name of the, uh, the convenience store was Becker's. Now, uh, every time I would go to this convenience store as a kid, uh, you know, I'd go in there like any other kid for, you know, candy and lick -a -maid and, uh, you know, rain blow gum and such. Uh, bottle caps, all that good stuff. But as soon as you'd walk in, you'd look to the right and there'd be two arcade cabs. Now, I remember some of the games that were there um, back in the day. I remember Double Dragon being in there. I remember uh, Magic Sword being in there. Um, but the two games I remember before I had first seen Street Fighter 2 were uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, and I believe it was Rastin, or Rastin Saga 2. So one day, like I said, I'm, I'm 11 years old, and uh, I walk into the uh, convenience store, turn to the right. Sure enough, I hear elephants. <laughs> so a of stage, right? So I hear elephants, I look over, and I see this beautiful cab, this beautiful yellow cab, and the uh, marquee says Street Fighter 2. I didn't, I didn't know what Street Fighter 1 was. I had never seen that one in the arcade. So Street Fighter 2. So I go, I buy my, uh, my chips and my, uh, my gum, and uh, I go over and I take a look at these games. Now, there was a couple of big kids on there. There's another couple of kids on the, uh, the other cab, not playing the other cab, but just kind of looking. And uh, here I am, you know, 11 years old looking also. And, uh, I, and I, was, I was genuinely interested in what I saw. I wasn't going to say that, uh, you know, my mind was blown by any means. Not right away. But I noticed two joysticks. I noticed it was a one-on-one -on -one fighter. And uh, that was pretty, pretty darn cool. So I remember the, uh, the one character on the right side with, uh, you throw punches and his limbs were stretching, douse him. And I remember the other character, the one that the, uh, the, the teenager was using, was this big, awesome looking beast, okay? And I remember him tapping, tapping the, the buttons and I remember the uh, beast, which we all know is Blanca or Blanca, however you say it, was uh, electrocuting. And as soon as uh, Dalsum hit him, uh, he would, uh, you know, he'd be electrocuted. So I, I sat there and I watched this and I thought the, uh, the, the graphics were very vibrant and colorful. It looked, it looked really cool. The characters were big. I was used to, like I said, like double dragon characters. They were kind of smaller, but this was one-on-one -on -one fighting. And as a kid, I loved, uh, I loved boxing. So I, naturally, I see these two people beating each other up on the arcade cab, and I thought it was friggin' cool, friggin' awesome. So the next weekend, I remember uh, getting on my bike, as uh, you know, kids back in the day used to do, go for bike rides, explore, be out all day. And I remember uh, going to the school and throwing the ball against the wall kind of thing, hitting, you know, hitting baseballs, everything, being a kid. I remember taking my bike and uh, calling on my friend, uh, on my friend and his brother, and the three of us rode our bikes back to the convenience store. It was uh, it was a Saturday. I just got my allowance, which uh, I think was like a buck, uh, a buck or two at, at the time. And uh, I remember going into the convenience store and getting all quarters so I could finally play this game. Now the first time I popped my quarter in, 
I, uh, I chose Blanca or Blanca. I call him Blanca. So I chose uh, Blanca. And uh, the first thing I did, so as soon as it started, uh, sure enough, Dalsim was the, uh, the first opponent. Those elephants going, you could hear them. But I remember right away, mashing the buttons, and sure enough, I got the electricity to, uh, to work for Blanca. And Dalsim went to kick me, got electrocuted. I thought it was the greatest thing ever. Now, to learn moves for uh, Blanca, another cool thing about uh, Street Fighter was that I didn't find the, uh, the kids that were playing to be snobbish. They would let you know how to do the moves. There were no fatalities, so just, you know, doing moves, it wasn't, wasn't really a big deal. It wasn't a big secret. And uh, they showed me moves for Blanca and Honda. Uh, Guile, it was all kind of the same uh, inputs, right? You hold the controller back for a couple seconds, push forward, and the, uh, and the punch button and you did super moves. And because of that, I thought the game was incredible. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing it that day. And it turned out that uh, I was taking quarters every time I could. I was getting quarters every time I could. I, I played the heck out of that game. Now, uh, Street Fighter 2, it actually came out the, uh, the next year in June. Excuse me. In June of 92, uh, it came out on the Super Nintendo. And I remember, so this was a summertime, I remember uh, when September of 92 came, so this is only one month now before uh, Mortal Kombat, and I think the first time I saw Mortal Kombat was in November. So I remember I didn't have it for the Super Nintendo, my brother hadn't bought it, I didn't have the money to buy it, my parents didn't buy it for me, but when, Super, or, uh, when Street Fighter 2 came out for the Super Nintendo, now I had already played it at the uh, convenience store many, many times, and uh, by this time I was already familiar with most of the moves. Another fun fact here, when I first saw the uh, the hurricane kick, I always, uh, in my mind, I heard, this is going to sound weird to you, but I always heard, that's that's what I heard. And to this day, that's what I still hear. I, I know uh, it's Tatsumeki something, something, whatever, but I still always hear that. And it always, every time I think of that, it brings me back to uh, when I was 11 years old. It's awesome. I love nostalgia. I love the way the uh, the mind and the memory works. A beautiful thing but uh so when it came out in um in june i remember now while i didn't own it um i remember uh there was an older there was an older guy a friend of my older brother's and i remember going to his place with my brother and playing it on his super nintendo and i couldn't believe how uh arcade at the time i didn't call it arcade accurate but i i thought it was exactly like the arcade on the super nintendo it was an incredible super nintendo game and uh, eventually, two months down the road, uh, my brother did buy it, and so we owned the, uh, the original Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo. And trust me, I played the absolute hell out of this game. Now, um, I remember when I was at school in September, um, I used to bring my lunch to school, and uh, you know, my parents just assumed that I was eating lunch at school. But I actually went over many, many times to a friend's place at lunch, just so I could play Street Fighter 2. And um, man, what, what a great game. So... Listen, Street Fighter 2, in, in my, my opinion, in my mind, Mortal Kombat wouldn't even exist without Street Fighter. So Street Fighter 2 is, believe me, this, this one is, I, I, there is no bias in this, this um, uh, versus video because I have great memories with both of them. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2, that's a different story. But Mortal Kombat 1 and uh, Street Fighter 2, um, I think this is going to be a fun video. How, how do you compare the two? Now, they're both fighters, but they are very different. Street Fighter's more animated, and, uh, um, you know, there's not the over-the-top violence. And, and But there is blood. If you look, there is blood in that game. Uh, there's also vomit, which is cool. But uh, I think this is going to be fun regardless. It's going to be a nice trip down memory lane for me. And uh, because of that, like, I have my, my Mortal Kombat 1 story I've told several times. The first time I saw it was in 92. It was at a roller rink. And, um, and yeah, big crowd around it. Uh, I saw Sub-Zero fighting Liu Kang. Sub-Zero did his fatality. It blew my mind. I felt like I was watching something I shouldn't be. Good times. But, uh, listen, Street Fighter 2 was very, very... It was... Listen, it was my first love in uh, regards to fighters. And uh, even when Mortal Kombat 1 came out in the arcade... Because the Super Nintendo version was still out, you know, they didn't. there weren't many places around here that had Mortal Kombat 1, to be honest. There's only two places that I can remember where I would play it, but Street Fighter was at home, so I played the hell out of that. 
Now, like I said, when Mortal Kombat 2 came out, now that's a different story. That, that changed everything. But that's for another video and uh, another time. Today, we're focusing on Street Fighter 2 versus Mortal Kombat. So we're going to be playing the, uh, the Legacy Cabs, the Arcade 1-Up Legacy Cabs. Uh, the emulation's perfect on those. They got the nice, beautiful BOE screens on them. I get to use the uh, sticks and buttons. So it's going to be a fun, fun comparison. And uh, we are going to ultimately see which one is better, in my opinion. So I know. Well, there's a lot of people out there that definitely Street Fighter or definitely Mortal Kombat. And they can pick at either. And they can, you know, just if you are 100% biased and you're just a Mortal Kombat person, you can bash Street Fighter until the uh, end of time and vice versa. But I love both of them. So this is going to be this is going to be fun. It's going to be interesting, and uh, I hope you guys stick around to watch the entirety of this video. So, there's my Street Fighter story. Um, that being said, we are going to break it into uh, four categories once again. Graphics, sound, uh, gameplay, uh, sorry, graphics, sound, controls, and overall fun factor. And then we will come up with the final verdict as to uh, which game is better. So, that being said... Let's uh, let's jump onto these cabs, and I got the Legacy cab for both. They're the exact same build. Um, they basically they're they're the same. Yeah, everything is the same about them except for the uh, the games themselves. So this this is going to be fun. Um, now, why am I not doing Champion Edition? Even though that came out before. Well, Mortal Kombat took I think they had eight months or something, eight months to uh, to get that going. So they started working on it before Champion Edition was even out. And I just think the uh, the similarities, you know, Street Fighter 2 has eight characters, Mortal Kombat has seven, etc., etc. I think it would be a, a more fair comparison if we do uh, if we do that. So uh, that being said, let's get into gameplay on both of these. And uh, first, we will look at the uh, the graphics for each, and uh, and then we will talk a little bit about that. Thank you very much for watching the video. Let's get right into the gameplay. Oh, yes. Street Fighter 2, my goodness. That music at the beginning. Do you not remember walking into an arcade and listening to that music? Let's turn it down a notch. Let's get into it. Let's look at the graphics. First off, eight characters. Now, Ken and Ryu, I mean, it just seems to uh, switch their uh, faces, same body, but whatever. There's a female character, fantastic, Chun-Li. We are gonna play with Blanca. India. India. Now why Blanca? Awesome. Blanca was the first character I ever used. Let's talk about the graphics. Blanca, look at him, guy's jacked. <laughs> He is a beast, and he looks beastly. You know, Dalsim, the Indian, very skinny, long and limber. He's got the rings. You got these elephants in the back. We are fighting in India. That was awesome. They really capture, in my sense, the essence of uh, what you would think India was like back in the day. Your winning pose looks incredible. Everything pops out in this game. Graphically, this looks awesome. Mm. And now you'll notice sometimes the character gets hit and they got uh, barf coming out of their mouths. <laughs> you know, you come in close. Let's see. Now oh, you get tossed. But, uh, you know, Blanca will, will chew his opponent's head. Look, oh, no, he threw me. <laughs> Sometimes you'd hit him hard. There was blood in this. And like I said, there's barf. There you go. But this stage looks amazing. It looks like you're in the foreground, the way the stage kind of moves. When you beat them, they got their animation. Look at Dalsim's clearly beaten. He's got the blood coming out of his mouth. The shading on the, the character when you've... And look, at even verses. There's blood under the verses. That's awesome. Chun-Li likes to jump off the walls, but the inclusion of a girl in this too, 
was awesome. It was who my sister always used. You know, I think they wanted more uh, girls to play video games back then. And uh, yeah, this stage here, look at the details. So even the character in the back's moving his head, they're all doing something. You got this little, <laughs> you got this little kid here. We're watching the fights also. And I'm purposely prolonging these uh, matches just to kind of focus more on the uh, on the graphics so we can kind of look. There you have it. Graphically, this game is beautiful. Let's take a look at Mortal Kombat now. And uh, you know what, these cabs, pause. Let's take a look at Mortal Kombat and uh, yeah, let's see, uh, see what that game is like graphically. Let's chew her head for a bit. Okay, you got the blood coming off. Awesome. Spinning star kick! Boom. Special moves. Alright, let's pause the game there and head over to Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Just like that, boom, screen fires up, Mortal Kombat, right away. You turn the cab on, you know what you're getting into. Let's look at the graphics here. Even the longest winning streak looks great because Dab is on top every time. So first thing you'll notice, digitized graphics. That was a big deal. Start the game up. The characters are beautiful, they're big. They're very distinguishable. These two caught my attention right away. Liu Kang looking like Bruce Lee. Okay. Let's use Liu Kang for the first bit of this. And let's let's uh, really concentrate on the graphics. Uh, digitized actors, amazing. You got even even the background looks almost digitized. You got uh, Shang Fun in the back there. The animation on Liu Kang for the uh, fireball. Look at that. Awesome. It's fluid. His winning pose. Like the first thing you think of when you see uh, Liu Kang is Bruce Lee. That's that's what I think of. That's what I've always thought of. And I'm sure. The creators wanted him to uh, look like Bruce Lee, but look, you got the uh, you got the guards in the back there. They look menacing. The dragons, the mountains, even the mountains in the back. The dragons up there. The uh, graphics in this, while they aren't as colorful as Street Fighter, the uh, kind of dullish col colors. They just they match the uh, they match the realism in this game. And so that was that was a big thing. The graphics look amazing. Clouds moving in the background. You got the Buddha statues. The little bits of uh, detail there with the uh, flames going on there. You got the guards in the back again. You got the uh, temple in the background. Like they they put a lot of detail into these graphics. Big deal. Her uh, her winning pose looks good. They they did something really special with this game when this came out. Like I don't know if they had any idea that this was going to change a lot of lives in the future. But this game it's amazing. It plays amazing. Block and everything. Finish me. Excellent. The blood, the blood is a big deal. Lots of blood on the uh, the ground. <laughs> very, 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 very awesome. <laughs> Raiden, you got the lightning coursing through him. Like graphically, it just looks so cool. All right. That being said, let's talk about it. We're gonna pause this one. Talk about it. Here we go. Now that was fun. I, uh, I definitely enjoyed that uh, first little bit of gameplay. Uh, let's talk about the graphics. Graphics on Street Fighter 2 are beautiful. They're very bright and vibrant, colorful. The characters are big. The uh, animation for each character is big. It's over the top. Um, the backgrounds, there's a lot going on in the backgrounds. Um, 
Capcom nailed it with uh, with Street Fighter 2. And uh, you know, if you want to compare it to the first Street Fighter, it's it's a huge, huge upgrade. Eight controllable characters now, and they're all uh, they're all very unique and have their own personalities. They've all got their backstories and everything too. The uh, the graphics in Street Fighter 2 was top notch back in '91. <clears throat> definitely top of the line. Uh, I'm giving it a five out of five. I can't. I I I just I love them. I love the graphics in that. Uh, Mortal Kombat graphics. What's what's not to love? So Mortal Kombat went more realistic and dark and digital. The characters in that game are beautiful, just like Street Fighter. They're vibrant. They're big. They're bold. They all have personality. the uh, The backgrounds are awesome. That 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 pit stage, the uh, the Warrior Shrine. My goodness, the the graphics in Mortal Kombat are absolutely brilliant as well for the kind of game it is back when it came out in 92 like this was if you were in the, the arcade looking at games mortal kombat was definitely going to catch your eye i can't give it anything other than five out of five the graphics are superb in in both of these games i love both of them this is going to be a tough one this is this is going to be a tough uh versus video because how do you pick one over the other so Anyways, let's uh, let's now play play some more, and uh, let's focus on the sound for this next round, and uh, then we will talk about it after. You win. All right, back to where we left off. Let's talk about the sound from Street Fighter. Let's focus there. All right, here we go. USSR. The speech in this game was very clear. Round one, fight. Very easy to understand. Boom. The music. Look at that, chewing on his head. The music is great. I, f I find the uh, the music perfectly sets the, uh, the tone and the pace of the game. You know, the Russian music here. <laughs> Round two. And again, I mean, if you you want to talk about graphics too, like once again, touch on it a little bit. Like I said, the detail in every stage is incredible. Even the foreground, you got the uh, fence there in the foreground. Anyways, the sound. Every character sounds. The punches. Listen to that. You know? The electricity. The pain that the opponent goes through when you beat them. How it's in slow motion. Even this sound right here, the score, the score tallying up, everything sounds so great and it's so cool. Inclusion of the bonus stages. Now, this was always the uh, funnest character to do the uh, bonus with, because all you'd do is you would jump on the other side and you would start electrocuting. Perfect. His growl, beastly. <laughs> so cool. Listen to the numbers. Even that sound. They did everything with sound on this game perfectly. You know, you got that brief moment of silence there. USA. Now, Ken, now this music is some of the best music in the game. Like, that is just, to me, that just sounds American. <laughs> If that makes sense, that right there is Hurricane Kick. Now, Hadouken. Everybody knows Hadouken. Hadouken! It's a Shorayuken where people think it's, oh, you can! And even when I was younger, I thought that too. Ooh, look at that. He, he just taught you a counter move there. Oh, you can! Boom. Oh, so good. Sure, you can. Each character has their own specific uh, voice clips, and it's it's so cool. So the sound in this is nothing short of incredible. <laughs> See if we can beat uh, Ken here. Well, Blanca is my favorite character to use. Like I said, he was the first one I ever used in the arcade. Ooh. Ooh. All right. 
right, we will pause it there. Let's take a look at Mortal Kombat and listen to the sound in Mortal Kombat. Here we go, continue where we left off. Raiden versus Sonya. You can hear the electricity coursing through him if you just stand still. Very cool. The music, it's effective. It does the job. It sounds very uh, kung fu-ish. I think the music sets the tone for this game very well. That, and then this right here. <laughs> the, uh, the voice samples in this game are amazing. I love when he says honey marmalade. Oh, beautiful. Honey marmalade! It's just so cool. Yeah! And it sounds like they're saying hiya almost, which is cool. But, again, yeah, if you hit him with... Oh, okay, I hit him with an uppercut. Hit her with an uppercut. The pain. You can feel the pain of every punch in this game. Oh, that music, when you get the uh, fatality, is it's amazing. It really sets the uh, dark tone for the... Uh, for the, the killing move, it's it's just, it stays with you. It haunts you. <laughs> it haunted me as a uh, as a 12-year-old when I first heard it. Unfortunately, when you knock your opponent into the pit here, you don't get that uh, fatality music. But, I mean, this move here, when you knock him off the pit, that was uh, traumatizing as a kid. <laughs> But all the sound effects, even when you get frozen there, let's see if he'll freeze me again. I get him to throw ice. Because it sounds like ice hitting you. It sounds like you're getting frozen. There you go. All the sounds. That roundhouse kick sounds like it hurts. But just the uh, screams in this and the agony. Sounds painful. And again, even the voice clips, like you don't forget that. Let's uh, let's talk. Let's pause here and talk about it. So, what'd you think? That was amazing. Both of these games have incredible sound. The music is great. The speech is great in both of them, and uh, just the uh, the overall sounds of the punches and kicks and the hits and what a what a beautiful beautiful uh set of games right here let's talk about street fighter first the sound the uh, the music is catchy it's upbeat um it gets it gets you moving there, there there's sounds that you don't forget you got the uh, well the elephants like for me the elephants ever any anywhere you went where street fighter was you could hear those stinking elephants and then and dalsum's uh, level but uh, I mean on top of that uh, Chun Li you know they've all got their own voice voices guile Ryu Ken uh, the announcers cool that perfect they use that in in, in songs I, I, I've heard it it's used all the time Street Fighter 2 from the, uh, the the sound of putting the coins in pushing start at the beginning even the uh, the sound in Street Fighter 2 is it's excellent it's the, uh, the the punches and the kicks like the hit detect um, not detection but when when you hit the, the opponent it's powerful the the final blow and the ooh, ooh, like just the echoing of when when you beat your opponent or you get beaten like you don't forget that stuff and uh, Street Fighter 2 is just it was amazing for sound so for sound on Street Fighter 2 I'm giving that a five out of five it's incredible what else can I say uh, Mortal Kombat being more realistic, the uh, the speech is fantastic. Uh, that fight, the uh, sh um, Shang Tsung laughing, uh, you know, from uh, when you get hit and stuff. When you fight him, I mean, we're we're not there yet. So we we might not get there, but the um, you know the sound effects in uh, Mortal Kombat are amazing. Every uppercut, boom! It's just it feels powerful. Um, the, the sound of agonizing death when, when you, uh, when you finish your opponent, the, the music really sets the mood. It's, it's dark. 
Um, it's not as dark as part two, but it's it's dark. It gives you that dark vibe. The the whole the music when you pull off of Fatality, it's bone chilling. Like when you were a kid back in the day, I was I was 11, uh, 12 when Mortal Kombat came out. Uh, that sound, especially if the arcade cab was like cranked, it was it was like nothing else. I mean, it would give me goosebumps anytime I'd see a Fatality being uh, being done performed. And uh, the sound on Mortal Kombat, they, they nailed it. Every aspect of it, it's beautiful, it's perfect. Uh, five out of five for sound on Mortal Kombat. So, how do these games control? I mean, fighters, you, you gotta be able to control your fighters. Street Fighter, uh, the, first, uh, the first arcade game was terrible for controls. Instead of doing a quarter circle and punch, you had to hold punch, do a quarter circle and let go of punch. Like it just didn't, it didn't work. Um, a lot of the moves felt like they were delayed or they, they didn't work properly. So Street Fighter 2, how did they handle the controls? Mortal Kombat, how did they handle the controls? Things are slightly different between the two of them. Let's get into some more gameplay and uh, we'll talk a little bit about the controls while we play and then uh, talk about it after as well. All right, let's talk. That's cool. Even the countdown's cool. You tap it. Five, four, three, two. You know, he growls. He's ready. He's ready for the next battle. So let's go to Ryu. Talk about the controls. So, big difference between Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat. You hold, you hold back to block. That's it. Plain and simple. If you want to block low, you hold back in a diagonal, and there you go. You block. Special moves? Look it. You push kick, you kick. You push punch, you punch, you know. Jab, strong, fierce. Everything responds the way it should. And then to do special moves, you know, with the combinations, with the joystick combinations, everything just works. The control in uh, Street Fighter 2, after you get a hang of it, it's perfect. <laughs> like doing special moves felt so good when you were younger, and they still feel good to this day, right? To do uh, fireballs, quarter circle forward and punch. I just, I love doing the combinations. You know, to do a Shorayuken, which, you know, a lot of people couldn't pull the moves off. Once you got a hang of it, I loved doing them. So the Shorayuken, forward, down, down, forward, you just, you just roll your hand in the motion and, and it works. <laughs> so, listen, that being said, I think the control in this game... It works. The control in this works perfect. Oh, you counter with my own Shorayuken. The control in this game, phenomenal. Very responsive. Does what you want it to do. What more can I say? Here we go to Japan. Pause it there and check out the uh, controls of Mortal Kombat. All right, so the controls of Mortal Kombat. Quarter circle forward, low punch. Does the lightning. Is it responsive? Ooh, Luke can't kick my butt. Is it responsive? Absolutely. Now in this one, you only have two punch and two kick buttons. Simplified things, right? High punch, low punch, high kick, low kick. Perfect. And then to do your moves, just like Street Fighter, combinations. Here we go! All right, Luke Kang's gonna win, no big deal. The controls are doing what I want it to do. Now, the difference is the block button, take you about a second to get used to it. Right? Hold block, it's responsive. When you want to block, boom, you're blocking. That's all there is to it. 
all the special moves, while they're slightly different, right? Hold back, block, low punch, low kick. They work. Anytime you push a button, so a, a sweep, back and low kick, it does what you want it to do. It's super responsive. Ultimately, it plays the way you want it to play. And that right there is a good thing for a fighting game. It's got to be responsive, otherwise you don't feel like you're in control of the uh, character you are using. And once you get a hang of the moves, beautiful. Finishing moves are easy to pull off when you know them. What more can I say about the controls on this game other than they're completely responsive. It's fun pulling off fatalities. It's fun getting the uh, getting the moves to work. <laughs> it's fun hitting your opponent. It's fun losing. It doesn't matter. The game is just all around good. And uh, you know, good. I shouldn't even say good. It's all around great. But right now, we're focusing on the controls. They're easy. They're responsive. They do what you want. And that's the bottom line. <laughs> Let's see if we can finish off Kano here. Boom. I love tapping these buttons too. Something about playing with the joysticks and buttons is just so much more fun than using a controller. You really feel like you're in control. The joystick always represents the uh, person you're uh, controlling. What an awesome thing. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. victory. Alright, so let's pause it there, talk about it a bit, and then we will touch on overall fun factor. I tell you, pulling off special moves in any fighting game and uh, doing it with relative ease is a thing of beauty. Uh, my, my older brother, I remember, he always had a tough time doing the inputs for moves, especially fatalities. Forget it, like he, he couldn't do any of the fatalities. And to me, it came as second nature. I loved it, I loved performing these fatalities, but for a lot of people, performing fatalities was a tough, was a tough uh, thing to do. Doing a Hadouken, a fireball, that little quarter circle motion or whatever, that was a tough thing to do. But these games handle it perfectly. There, there's, I don't know if there's a little bit of uh, leniency or whatever on, on the motion itself. I don't know the technical specs of, you know, the, the games themselves. And if you have to perform, you know, down, down, forward, forward, like exact with the buttons, or if there's a little bit of leniency or give with that. But pulling off moves in Street Fighter, even a Shoryuken where you, you push, you know, forward and then down and then down forward on the control, on the control stick... It just works. They're, they're not hard to do. And, and Street Fighter 2. So let's talk about Street Fighter 2, the controls. Uh, cool thing is a lot of the characters use the same motions for their moves, right? Like Guile, Blanca, um, E Honda. You know, you hold back, you push forward in a punch button. Like the, the simplicity of special moves made that game really appealing to uh, me as, as, a young, as a young kid at the time. And even to this day, like I still, you don't forget that stuff. And, um, the controls are responsive. They're, you know, you push kick, boom, you kick and you push punch, punch. As long as your timing's right, you're gonna you're gonna do what you uh, want your character to do. And so that being said, Street Fighter 2 for uh, controls, we're gonna give a five out of five. And uh, the game plays beautifully. Now the difference between Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, obviously, is the block button on Mortal Kombat and holding back on Street Fighter. Well, I was one of these people who, when I went over to a Mortal Kombat, pushing that block button wasn't a big deal. And I know a lot of people uh, had a problem with that. Because on Street Fighter, you hold back or you hold back in a, di in a diagonal to, you know, crouch block. And everybody got so used to that. I got used to that as well. But when Mortal Kombat introduced that block button, you know, maybe the first time I played it, I was like, oh, oh, shoot, you don't hold back to block. And I got used to pushing that block button right away. And I find that the block button works amazing. The truth is I really have no preference for uh, for what I prefer in regards to the block in, in all of these all of these games. Modern Street Fighter, modern uh, Mortal Kombat, 
block button pushing back is their thing and uh, i think they both work fantastic as for pulling off moves in mortal kombat it's uh it was it was there were a lot more to uh, figure out because of the fatalities um you know the motion of tapping back twice for scorpion's harpoon or uh you know for for let's see all for a fatality like sonya's fatality forward forward back back block that kind of thing once you learned it they were just it was just fun to pull off when you would uh when you would do it and you'd succeed and you'd get that fatality and as soon as you and once once you knew them it wasn't hard to do so i think the uh controls for mortal kombat were tight they were responsive they were flawless flawless victory for controls on mortal kombat the uh controls i'm going to give a five out of five so we have one topic left uh we have the overall fun factor it's evident i love both of these games they're both sitting at 15 15 out of 20 right now we got uh, one more um one more thing that we're going to uh that we're going to look into and that is just the overall fun factor of each game that kind of touches on like difficulty and uh you know playing against others and such and uh Let's do it. Let's let's play the uh, last uh, last little bit for these uh, two two games. We'll talk about the fun factor after, and I will give my final verdict for uh, which one is better. Here we go. Let's get into more gameplay. All right, here we go. Round one. The last topic: fun factor. Now, getting to this point in this game, I lost a match. No big deal. When I was younger, I had no problem dropping another quarter in this game because it was so much fun to play. You know, losing is part of uh, learning, right? So when you would lose in this, you would uh, kind of, you know, see patterns, you know, for what the character's doing. So right there, he ducks and throws that kick. That's one of his counters. So am I going to do that again? I might. But again, that's part of learning the game that you're playing. And, uh, you know, learning's part of the fun. And then when you do master it and, and you play it, it just, it becomes more fun. And, uh, like I said, pulling off moves in this game is fun. Having them responsive makes, uh, makes the game fun. The game is not overly difficult. You are going to lose. Well, I mean, unless you've mastered this game over the last, you know, many, many years. But losing is not a big deal. If you, if you do lose, so what? Like I said, you wanted to pop another quarterback into it. I could play this game. You know, if this was all I had here right now or my other cabs weren't working or something, I could play this for hours <laughs> and just listen to music. And I, I love it. I love it. This game is a ton of fun. It's fun seeing the backgrounds. It's fun seeing the animation. It's fun listening to the music. It's fun slamming on those buttons. It's fun winning. <laughs> it's fun when you get to the uh, the end bosses. You know, sometimes when you would win with like a couple seconds left or it's right at the end and you're like, am I going to win? And then you do. go seven seconds left and we won awesome and when you were young seeing what's next knowing there's a, you know is there another bonus stage coming up it just it was it was great this music with that the big fighter jet in the back it's so cool and you know, controls, even though I, I do mess up controls, right? Like I'm not always gonna hit that fireball, but you know what? It didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter. Even on that last little playthrough there with, uh, with uh, Sub-Zero on Mortal Kombat, I didn't do the fatality. And you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> You want to play the next round. You want to play the next uh, match. The bottom line is the controls do what you want it to do. And because of that, I mean, the games are just fun. When you're playing against somebody and you're going back and forth, tons of fun. The computer in this is too difficult. Tons of fun. You know, you got your anti-airs in this. You got your... Uh, 
You got your throws, you got your, you know, kind of cheap moves, if you want to call it that. I don't find the uh, computer overly unfair in this one. You know, they'll do moves sometimes that you can't do as a human. Like, they just, they skip animation frames and such, like that there. Although, technically, he was ducking, so... You know, you jump right into it. There's things that you can't avoid because the uh, game is programmed in such a way where they will just hit you and such. But there's always a way to get around it. You know, you can be patient and just sit and wait. Like, I cannot jump at him. He'll eventually do something. I can just keep throwing Hadoukens at him. Whatever the case. And, and you know what? And it was fun learning that stuff back in the day. And the game is still tons of fun to, to play and learn today. So... We're going to get to uh, the first boss. Balrog was a uh, fun character to fight. And Guile is uh, definitely taking his aggression out on me. Didn't want to do that. But uh, <laughs> but overall, like I said, if I had the money you know, back in the day, I would play and play until I beat it. And that's, uh, that's all there was to it. All right. Let's, uh, let's check out Mortal Kombat. We're going to end this. We don't have money left. You see your character, and he's like, please put another quarter in, another quarter in. So cool. All right. Fun factor, Mortal Kombat. Let's play a little more of that. All right. Here we go. Fun factor, Mortal Kombat. Now look, if you've watched the channel for a while and you know me, you know that I think this game is an absolute blast. And even if I lose, I, I can't get angry. Because I want to keep playing, that's the thing. I don't want to stop. <laughs> you know, it's fun finding patterns and, uh, you know, and little exploits while playing the computer. But something about winning and then killing your opponent. <laughs> I know it sounds vicious, but this is Mortal Kombat. Something about that is just so fun. Seeing the uh, different stages is, that's fun, you know. Getting a move in when it's down to, you know, it's down to the wire. You've each got like one hit left. And then if you can pull off that win, so much fun. There you go. Boom, easy. And I'm watching. You're victorious. You got your opponent's head. Test your might. Something I wish they'd left in the other Mortal Kombat games. Because even that's fun. Just bashing the buttons. You know, hearing that sound. It's it's such a great uh, such a great experience. This game. Everything everything contributes to the fun factor. The graphics, the sound, the, the tight controls. It all makes the, the challenge. It's not impossible. This, uh, I find the, uh, you know, the opponent more lenient in this. You know, you can jump kick them a lot of the time, which is great. <laughs> you know, they do ease it up a little bit if you lose a bunch in a row. You know, knowing that there's secrets, like if when the cabs were or were or are turned on for a while, then you start to see, you know, images fly by the moon. You know, you see little, um, like, reptile will appear and give you a tip on how to beat him. Or, sorry, how to find him. Stuff like that really kept you involved. It was fun to watch. Um, you know, like I said with Street Fighter, I don't know, maybe I just said it now. <laughs> but when it's down to the wire... And, uh, you know, it's just the two of you left. You got one hit left. Yeah, I said that already. Knocking your opponent into the pit. It's all great. Even endurance matches were a great time because you felt so accomplished when you would uh, when you would win the endurance round. You'd be like, yes, I did it. And then when you beat the, the third endurance match and Goro falls to the uh, into the level, like that was one of the greatest moments of your life. <laughs> but endurance matches were a lot of fun because they were so tense. 
They were so difficult until you figured out patterns. You know, the jump kick pattern there. And then you win and it's like, yes, yes. I can't wait till the next round. Everything contributes. The graphics, the sound, the controls. And this game does it all flawlessly. So let's finish this match. Win or lose, it's all good. It's all fun. And then we will talk, talk about it and give our final verdict. But I tell you, we're standing at 15 apiece already. Ooh, Honey Marmalade pulled that out. Boom, let's finish him. And then talk about the fun factor and give our final verdict. So there you have it. The last little bit of gameplay for uh, Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat. Street Fighter 2 is a ton of fun. Okay, now while I'm doing these uh, playthroughs just on my own, I'm playing against the computer, both of these games are more fun when you're playing against somebody. Uh, that's just the nature of the game itself. But I personally, uh, because I had a brother who was a spaz when I would play many fighting games, I played a lot of these growing up on my own. And, uh, and that being said, when I was young, I had a hell of a time playing both of them. Uh, Street Fighter 2, let's talk about that one. So the difficulty in Street Fighter uh, 2, um, it, it starts to get up there. Once, once you get to uh, characters like if Guile's later on in the, in the roster or whatever, it starts to get difficult. But every character does have their patterns. Uh, I'm, I'm decent at Street Fighter 2. I'm not, um, you know, I'm not all about the, like, juggle combos and stuff, but even in Street Fighter 2, I don't think there were a lot of those anyways. Um, it was pretty straightforward. So, uh, fun factor in, uh, in Street Fighter 2, uh, overall, again, playing against an opponent, playing against somebody who knows the game pretty decent, who's, like, almost equal to yourself, it's a great time. Playing against the computer is also a great time using any there's not one bad character in the game i don't think anyways i i enjoy all of them uh zangief you know doing the 360s on the controllers and such um you know when you connect like you do a lot of damage with those those uh, throws of his but every character in street fighter 2 you know the original eight they're all fun to use in my opinion every character is fun and once you get to those bosses um balrog vega saget Sagat, if you want to call it that, and M. Bison, they're all fun. And, and uh, I remember seeing them in the arcade uh, back in the day, people fighting these, uh, these opponents. Um, it, was, it was tense. Like, the music would kind of stop, and then it would say, you know, you'd go to, uh, to USA or Thailand. And, and it was just, it was so cool. It was so fun to watch. It was so fun to play. So that being said, uh, Street Fighter II, the arcade game, I give it a... Five out of five for fun factor. I just scored the game perfect. To this day, to this day, that game is perfect. Now, you can start to pick at little flaws. We'll know the, the balancing was a little off. You did too much damage, this and that. No, I'm not going to talk about any of that. I'm talking about my experience with the game. I think Street Fighter 2 is the perfect fighter uh, for its time. And to this day, it's still an amazing game. So that being said, you know, it, it stands the test of time. Street Fighter 2, I'm giving a 20 out of 20. Perfect score. All right, so how do you beat that? Let's talk about Mortal Kombat and the fun factor. Now, the moment you uh, get, get used to a couple, a couple moves on Mortal Kombat, it's probably equally as difficult as Street Fighter 2 is. Now, difficulty is all... I, I don't know. Difficulty, the, uh, you know, the, whoever, whoever the, uh, the operator of the cab is, like in the beginning, they can set the difficulty and the dip switches and stuff. Even if the game's on very hard, there's still these little exploits and, and tricks that you can do to fool the computer and such. Um, Mortal Kombat was a hard game, but Street Fighter 2 is hard for me too. And so because of that, the game was uh, a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun figuring out your opponents. Um... Uh, fun factor, let's see what else, with Mortal Kombat. Now, it was fun seeing, like, once you got to, you know, the endurance matches, and Goro, and Shang Tsung, 
this game was awesome. It was awesome getting to that next stage. Uh, test your might when they included that. You know, even that was fun. I, I love that. I wish they had that in Mortal Kombat 2, to be honest. But they felt like it dragged down the, uh, the you know, the continuity of the game itself. And so they took it out. But I love, I had a ton of fun with the uh, test your might. Um, the secrets in Mortal Kombat. Now, uh, well, in Street Fighter 2, I don't think there were any in Street Fighter 2 unless you can just beat the game in like one credit kind of thing. But Mortal Kombat had the inclusion of Reptile, which, you know, the odd time would make an appearance. I never saw Reptile in the arcade back in the day. Now, on these cabs, I've seen them, and obviously in videos on YouTube and stuff, I've seen Reptile. But um, just the, uh, the mystery around that, it was so cool. That's part of the fun. That's part of the fun. When you'd see like a witch fly by the moon or something, like that kind of stuff was amazing. Every time that somebody did figure out a fatality or, or um, you know, just like a, maybe a juggle combo or something, it was always fun to, uh, to see. And when you would do it yourself, it was even more fun. Performing moves was a lot of fun. Doing fatalities was the best, the best back then. And I still do fatalities all the time to this day. I don't care. I'm going to always do them. I, I love doing the fatalities. Um, Mortal Kombat was so much frigging fun back in the day. My, my rating for fun factor on Mortal Kombat, how could I not give it a 5? Uh-oh. So what does that mean? So I scored each game perfect, okay? Perfect because, you know, for myself, maybe it's more a nostalgic thing. But is it? Because I can play both games to this day and still have a great time every time playing them. So am I biased towards Mortal Kombat? Maybe I'm biased towards Street Fighter because of the memories associated with it. But both games, to me, are flawless. So that being said, we got to have a winner. We have to have a winner. Here's the thing, okay? If you put me in a room with just the two games and you said, pick one to play, then I am probably... 9 out of 10 times, going to pick Mortal Kombat. So, that being said, and why will I go towards Mortal Kombat? Because over time, I think I am more addicted <laughs> to Mortal Kombat. That's not to say the game is better than Street Fighter 2, however. Both games, both games are fantastic. So, we are going to base my, because this is my review and my playthrough and my, uh, my, <laughs> this is mine. I'm going to give Mortal Kombat the slight edge just because I would pick it every time over Street Fighter. Almost every time. So the winner in this is basically both. If you're a Street Fighter fan and you love Street Fighter 2 and that's your go-to game, then, then good for you. I get it. I get it. The same, uh, the same way if Mortal Kombat is your game and you say, oh, this is better than Street Fighter. I get it. I get there's something about about uh, your memories with this game there's something about it that has you choosing mortal Kombat over the other and that's that's the final verdict that's what it is to me so <laughs> that was a lot of fun i really enjoyed uh, diving into those two games tonight if you stuck through this entire uh, video i do appreciate it um this opens up a new realm for verse videos um you know not just different uh uh, platforms of the of the same game kind of thing but killer instinct killer instinct came out in 96 uh ultimate mortal kombat 3 96 so there's some uh, there's some more uh, comparison videos that we can do but um you know i won't get into any of that right now the video's over that is my final verdict ultimately i would choose mortal kombat over street fighter 2 but that's not saying that it's it's any better. They are both perfect games, in, in my opinion. So, again, thank you very much for watching the video. And, uh, you know, feel free to leave your opinion in the comments. Um, that being said, listen, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your life. Hopefully these are two games that you remember until the end of time. And uh, we will see you in another video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.
Thank <laughs> you.